a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is Michael, and I'm a financial consultant. My motto in life is work hard, play hard. I like women that are confident. I like women that are smart. I like women that are my equal. A limit day. <laughs> Boston's a great place to go out on a date because there's plenty of young people. There's lots of fun places to go. We're going to do a big bar crawl. We're going to go from bar to bar um, and try to find out as much of these girls as we possibly can within that period of time. You never do know. One of these girls definitely could be the one. What will separate me from the competition is that I'm sincere and honest, and I'm a ball of fun. I'm Erica, and I'm a stylist. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's everything going? Good. Good. My secret weapon, I think I'm just going to work the sweet and innocent side of me and see how that goes. I'm Brandy, and I'm an events coordinator. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Hi. I'm Brandy. How are you? Nice Mike. to meet you. Good to meet you. I think Michael's absolutely adorable. Um, he's actually really my type, so. Thank you, Eliminate People. Do most women think I'm a snob? Yes. Am I a snob? Absolutely not. I'm Christy, and I work in insurance services in Rockland, Massachusetts. How I'm Christy. You? Nice Christy. to meet Mike, you. Mike, good to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> when Christy first walked up, uh, you know, she had very nice hair. I did notice that right off the bat. Really nice teeth. I like nice, nice teeth. There is nothing that is going to stop me from winning this date. I am the full package deal, and you know what? I am a catch, and he is going to realize it. I'm Erica. I'm 23. I work here in Boston, Massachusetts for a large advertising firm. Hi. Hello. I'm Erica. How are you, Erica? Nice to finally meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I brought you a flower. Well, that was very nice of you. When I first met her, she showed up with the rose. That was very sweet of her. It's beautiful on the inside, and I'm just like it. There you go. <laughs> nice. It was a cheesy flower, you know? It was like dyed orange. Why don't we get our butts inside before we freeze? We uh, started our date off at the Beacon Hill Pub. A bar crawl is a good way to start a quadruple date. You can have a drink, relax, uh, get to know each other, and uh, really ask some questions about each other. So what do you girls do? I work in advertising. I work for one of the largest ad ad agencies in Boston. Okay. Personally, I'm a catch. I'm very oh, successful. <laughs> I just got promoted in my job a few months ago. I'm very adventurous, yeah. and I find you very striking. So. Thank you. I thought it was really entertaining to watch Erica start bragging about herself. The way that Erica, you know, sits there and boasts and brag about what she's done and what she, you know, what she's accomplished, I think it's a little bit nauseating. Little short, pushy Erica needs to pipe down. Brandy, right. what do you do? Um, I just graduated in May. Congratulations. Thank you. But I just got a job in actually New York City, so moving there. What are you going to be doing? This month. I'm working um, in, as a production coordinator. Oh, okay. Television production. I kind of do that. What do you do, Erica? Um, I'm a wardrobe stylist on still shoots and now kind of getting into commercials and television. I work at a place called Insurance Services and I'm customer service representative for the company. And I teach private voice lessons. And so you're gonna have to have you sing. <laughs> yeah, you're singing. <laughs> Late night, she's like microphone. Go ahead, sing it. Right. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> um, and try. Christy just she just seems to sink into the background, and who wants to hang out with someone who's just gonna be boring? So I think that she she needs to either speak up or just get out. She's acting like she's better than everybody else, and it makes her seem old and not like she's out to have a good time. Christy's got kind of a fake presence about her. She's not sincere, she's not genuine. So Erica, you're a stylist, correct? Yes. Let's hear some critiquing. Okay, I'll start with you. <laughs> like in the blue sweater, the jean pulls together nicely, and I really love your ring. I don't prefer corduroys, but it's a personal choice. Tall Erica gave me a little comment about my corduroys, and you know what? She has like, this plain turtleneck and a pair of jeans. Like, I wouldn't want her being my stylist. For you, I don't love the coat. It's okay. Everybody it's has their okay. own taste. Exactly. <laughs> it's just okay. Everybody's got their own taste. Everybody's got their own style. style. Hello. Grandmother's rug. I'm pretty sure that I used to help vacuum that about 10 years ago. Well, I think we should um, spice things up. How about you and me go get a shot? I was getting bored with all the other girls. You know, I needed some time with him to myself. 
he seemed really pleased about that. So we had a, a really nice, intimate little chat without the other girls in the way. That's you know, good. it's funny. My parents met on a blind date. Did they really? And they um, they were engaged three weeks later. That's pretty but, funny. So I have that. You know, you gotta be optimistic about things. Good. Oh my Sit here while they go have their shot. <laughs> Erica could have a drinking problem. Here, here's to us. This does. Erica dragging Michael to get shots is a very gutsy move. Woo! But I think it might have backfired because she came across as too crazy doing shots first thing off the bat. So, what kind of shots did you guys do? What did we take? Stoli we raspberry? We did a Stoli raspberry shot. And? It's sweet, you know, it warmed us up a little bit, I think. So what's the most adventurous thing that you've done? When I was 18, I went backpacking through Europe and I did uh, that all over the place. Wasn't that awesome? Yeah, did you go to Monte great. Carlo? Went to too. Monte Carlo. Yeah. Lo and behold, guess who else has gone backpacking through Europe? That would be little Erica, because she's done everything twice and apparently better. I got the girls to sum up their competition, and that kind of stirred up the pot a little bit. Christy? Uh -huh. I feel like you're maybe a little bit older. Maybe I'm a little bit more mature, not as immature. Honestly, um, yeah. But I like, you know, it's not like I don't like to have fun, but like I said, this is a first date for me, so I don't let everything out on the first, uh, on the first date. I don't like getting everything out on the first shot. So maybe that makes me a little bit older. <laughs> Possibly not so. Is that why? <laughs> is that why? Not yeah. Is it really? I'm kidding. Uh oh. But I am, I mean, I do, <laughs> <have a lot. laughs> I do like to have a lot of fun, but you know. I think it's really amusing that Brandy and Christy started an argument about who's mature and who's being a baby. When in reality, they're both making complete idiots out of themselves. I think uh, you'd be a lot of fun to go out with, but I think you're too party. You party way too much. But I'm the one who just got promoted. See, I have the whole professional thing going. And I'm actually very successful, so. Um, you know, I'm just a smart girl. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Sorry that you have to reiterate that fact. Well, you know, I'm not. I'm not the ditzy one. I'm sorry, but I was a little bit angry that everybody was trying, you know, to, to get down my throat. But you know, I think I stood up for myself quite well, and I don't have to stoop down to their level to get my point across. I like Christy because uh, she can take an insult. The other girls really teamed up on her, and. Uh, she kept her posture and continued to smile. So that was a plus on her end. Coming up, who will Michael cut first? I think that Christy is definitely going to be the first one to go. I would like to see little Erica go. I think that Christy is going to get cut this round. If I was a betting woman, I would bet that Christy's going to get the ax because she is so not at all compatible with Michael. A limit day. Who do you think Michael will eliminate first? Tall Erica, small Erica, Brandy, or Christy? Well, now we come to the point where we kind of have to make a little decision here. Christy, you've been great. You took criticism really well. Brandy, uh, you're a very cute, very nice girl, very sweet. Uh, let's go over here to the two Ericas. Uh, enjoy both of you, but uh, life is not fair. So, uh, Christy, you gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, how come? Why? Uh, I just wasn't feeling the vibe. <laughs> and, uh, you know, life is about the vibe, so. By cutting me, he's missing out on, like, you know, a really nice person and uh, a lot of fun. Um, so that's, that's his loss. I cut Christy. Um, mainly, I'm just not attracted to her, to be honest with you. She wasn't genuine. She was too fake. She was too posed. She was a weak player, and her personality really didn't come out. So I think he made the good decision. Good luck, girls, and may the best woman win. So we're on round two. Go over to a uh, little black, black rose action. Let's Super get it warm here. here. <laughs> it's a little chilly out. It's freezing. <laughs> You know, one of the main things why we actually came to this bar, came to a little Irish bar, um, was to see which girls were going to let their hair down, which girls were going to relax, get up on stage, sing a little Irish jig. So listen, any girls, any tattoos, anything I should know about you? My high school boyfriend tattooed my initials in his leg. Psycho. Which is really Sorry. weird. It's just one of those 
high school when you're in love and everything, you know. Erica has a story for everything. She thinks that she's done everything and been everywhere. No. Erica, no. You want to sit down? You want me to sit on your lap? You can sit on my lap if you want. Okay. Doesn't matter. Relax, um, be comfortable. Okay. I don't know how, how it's going to work, but... <laughs> Okay. There we go. Erica will do anything <laughs> to get with Michael. Sitting on his lap, which I'm sure was quite painful until he threw her off. We were uh, sitting around having drinks, kind of relaxing. And uh, the singer ended up asking for volunteers to hop up on stage. I was all ready to cheer the girls on. I was not ready to join them at all. Oh, you can get up on stage. Hey, though. This is a pretty late stage. Come with. I'll get up on stage. Okay. Michael kept insisting, and he wasn't going to go up on stage unless I went up on stage. So I went up, but I was definitely not the strongest presence up there. got booed because she wasn't that great a singer. The crowd booed me because I am Italian and I'm sorry but I don't practice Irish folk music while I'm at home. But I think I made up for it in terms of my charisma, personality. We're gonna dance right here. Oh my god, let's do it right in the front of the stage. Oh no, Peg, we need you up here. You guys are oh, to try. Do you want to I think the best part was definitely bringing Michael down on the floor and dancing with him, slow dancing nevertheless. And I think the other girls were a little bit intimidated by that. You know, I think the other Erica could have been on a date by herself. You really failed. I'm sorry, but your social skills just went down the tubes. You can't dance, you can't sing. You know what, I'm really starting to question if you can have a good time. Both of the girls were like throwing themselves at Michael and I think they came across as desperate. I think I chose to play it a little bit more reserved. I didn't want to make a fool of myself down there. Who will Michael cut next? I definitely think the tall Erica um, is getting cut this round. I think the next person to get cut is probably going to be the other Erica. I definitely think that Erica's getting cut out of this round. See you later, girl. Thanks for trying out. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Michael going to eliminate next? Tall Erica, small Erica, or Brandy? All right, that was great. I don't know about you ladies, but I just had a good time. We were in the, the Black Rose. Unfortunately, uh, Erica, you know, I gave you the benefit of the doubt in the first round. I think you're a lovely girl. Um, but in round two, uh, you just didn't give it your all. Oh, we had a nice Do time, it. though. I, I time did get up you. on stage I, in the I end. I had a great time with you. Appreciate it. When you it. find out that these girls are just too immature for you, I want you to look me up. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> She's a very nice girl. She's a little bit more on the reserve side, but she really wasn't willing to give it her all for the date. She was just boring, and you know what? All looks and no fun gets you nowhere in this world. I think it's just a matter of time before he sees through their silly um, charades and realizes that they are not half the woman that I am. Well, we're on our way to uh, Purple Shamrock right now, and uh, we're gonna find out how well you girls dance. The girls changed, they switched their outfits, they looked great, they looked hot. I think Erica definitely looks sexy. She looked very nice in her boots and her mini skirt. Brandy was, was very cute, she's got a very nice little body. So, 
basically, we just gotta relax now, have fun. Yeah, I think we should loosen else. up and dance listen a little, up, have a little, a little bit of fun. Bit. But you gotta tell me one thing. If you were to bring one tool into the bedroom, what would it be? Hot fudge. There you go. I don't need to be going to the supermarket in order to have fun in the bedroom. I'm more bring? into the, the whole ice cubes. The ice cubes? And I think just bringing them here, you know. The best tool that Erica could bring to the bedroom would be a muzzle for her mouth. When we first got on the dance floor, actually I ended up having two women basically fighting over me. I must admit, it was definitely fun. When we were dancing, I feel that Michael and I had this certain connection. He caressed my hand, so I'm feeling, I, I felt the love there, and so we'll see. Erica was an okay dancer. Honestly, I wasn't really paying attention to her. I was paying more attention to Michael, and I was trying to grind. Do you see that? I think Brandy's dance moves were straight out of the basement of a college frat party. Everyone was having a good time, kind of grinding, bumping up next to us. Got a little bit down and nasty. And uh, kind of saw what these girls were all about. We got one more, uh, one more girl to eliminate, one more cut. So uh, let's hear why you think you're gonna make the cut. I don't know that there's anything that I could say in particular, but I think that there's one thing that would probably make you choose me. It could be <laughs> right about here. You're gonna me in trouble, huh? When she was kissing him, I was definitely a little jealous. I was a little weirded out by the whole situation. I've never, you know, watched somebody kiss someone that closely. <laughs> now, uh, moving on. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes this part. He, he definitely does. He does. 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 Alright, so that makes the decision even more difficult. <laughs> Will it be small, Erica? Or Brandy? Michael's final cut is next. I love my dad. <laughs> Both did a great job coming out here today. Um, you gave it your all. Brandy, you're you're very cute, you're a great girl. Um, I had a great little time to you today. Erica, uh, I gotta say the same thing. You came out, you uh, you know, brought the rose. You're very spontaneous. It's a hard choice, but uh, I think I'm gonna go with, uh, with Brandy. So, I'm sorry. I had a great time, but uh, only one can stay, unfortunately. That's all right. You know, I had a great time as well, and I wish the best of luck to you too. And you know, you're missing out on a great girl. I must say, I, I'm very disappointed. I think that Michael has made a big mistake. I chose Brandy. Um, I just think she's cuter. Uh, I gotta say, and uh, she seems like a very sweet girl. So that's why I chose her. He might have a good time for the rest of tonight, but tomorrow morning he's gonna wake up and really regret his decision. In reality, girlfriend, I'm sorry, but he already asked me for my number. We definitely had that chemistry on us. <laughs>